Hi, welcome or welcome back. So today I figured I would just do a little shot my stash full face of makeup, kind of spring inspired, because it's my birthday. And it won't be my birthday anymore by the time this goes up, but you know. <laughs> so I was like thinking about like all the cherry blossoms and stuff that have been blooming. So I figured I would do a little spring look. Okay, I want this to be kind of like a natural, not natural, I don't know. What does that even mean? I want this to be kind of like a lightweight, but pretty kind of look. So I want my eyebrows to be just slightly touched up. So I'm going with the Glossier Boy Brow in the shade brown. I think this is a, a really nice shade of brown, especially if you have if you have hair as dark as mine and brown brow gels slash just brow products in general can sometimes pull a little red on you. This is not one of them. This is a very neutral to even like cool leaning brown color. And I think it's very like dark brown to black hair friendly. And it's just easy. It just makes your eyebrows look a little bit fuller, thicker, longer. Can't say it has like the best hold comparatively. Compar comparing? Compared to other like brow products that I do have in my collection, but I'm here mainly for them looking fuller. And for complexion, I'm gonna go in with the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Caring Concealer. I wear this in the shade, I don't know, N120. It's a nice neutral shade. It's good for me in the winter months, but I would definitely have to go up a shade for the summertime because this is just kind of, you know, a little light. I start out with just like a light layer of this stuff. I don't really like cake it on because it does go on. It's it's very serum-y, very um, thin on the skin. So I like to take like starting out just a light layer and then build up in areas where I need it after I have more makeup on my face. Next, I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite bronzing products. This is the Tower 28 Sculptino in the shade Getty. So what I've been doing is taking it and then using the lid here as a little palette to kind of work it into the brush a little bit more. Doesn't make it look very nice, you know, on your vanity or in your drawer or whatever, but I find that it's very utilitarian. I feel like this brush had other bronzer on it. So this is looking a little darker than usual. I'm gonna take a little smaller brush onto the lid here. Go into the eye. Little area for a little extra dimension. Kind of unify that bronzing color with the rest of my face. And then down the nose slightly. Next, I'm taking my Westman Atelier Lit Up Stick in the shade Nectar for a little highlight action. And just pressing that up onto the high points of my face. This does describe this as like a peachy color, but I feel like since it's a balm, it's so translucent that any anybody could use this. And it's kind of like a universal shade. Were there other shades? Not so universal. But this one, anybody, anybody will look great in this. I like to take it just slightly under my eyes with whatever's left on the brush, because it just adds a little bit more, you know, hydration, healthy looking skin. Now for blush, um, kind of sticking with the kind of springtime cherry blossom theme. I'm going in with something I haven't used on my channel in a while. This is by the brand Yolaine. It's a French brand. Um, and it's their Le Mousse de Rouge in the shade Hortense, Hortense sort of thing. Uh, but it's a lip and cheek mousse, so it's for the lips and the cheeks. And uh, it's made in Italy. It's so, so beautiful. Um, but this is the nude rose. It's kind of like a nudie pinky rose color. And it's a matte moussey kind of formula. But I find that it translates onto the cheeks in such a velvety, gorgeous way. It's very pigmented, very pigmented. So you need just a little bit. So I'm gonna take about half of that. 
and really, where am I in the camera here? And really work that into my brush with very light stippling motions, making sure that there's no like, you know, globs on my brush here. Just taking it up onto the high points to give just like that little kiss of color. Because remember, you can always add more, but it's harder to kind of dull down than it is to add more. So it's always nice to start with a very light application. Oh, that's pretty. And kind of take it up onto the forehead just a little bit so that the color looks more natural onto the nose, a little bit onto the eyes. It's very like fresh, very spring, you know, it's a very lovely product. And there's no, there's a little bit of a scent, but not, not in an offensive way. You know, you know how some French brands, like they're all about fragrance. I'm gonna line my lips ever so slightly with the Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in the shade uh, Anywhere Caffeine. Taking this little lip brush, also by Yolaine, I'm taking the rest of what's on my hand here and applying it to the center of the lips. And I did put on a lip balm beforehand um, because this is very, very matte. And so I want it to have a little bit more spreadability, a little bit more emollients. But since it's a matte formula, it will have some type of like drying down, but thus it gives it some longevity. And as you see, with that um, Anywhere Caffeine shade, it kind of makes the tulip kind of peachy coral color come out just a little bit more. Or peachy coral, I guess it would be more like a peachy rose. I keep that the rest on my hand just in case I want more for later. Um, or if I need to touch up my blush towards the end. I'm gonna go in with uh, Oldie But Goody. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Exaggerize. So gorgeous. I'm just gonna take eyeshadow brush. This is the, this is a It Cosmetic brush. They sell these at Ulta. I'm just gonna go in lightly because I just want a like a kiss of shine from this formula. I don't really want the full pigmentation of it, so I'm just like lightly, lightly going in for a little extra, a little extra shine. Just starting in the middle where I want the most pigmentation. What I like about this formula is it works, it's very versatile. So you can use it with your fingers or a brush and you can get a multitude of different effects. Like you can really like smear this on for a full glam look or you can use a brush and lightly dust it to make it a little bit more ethereal and everyday. In with the remainder of the Ciolaine Mousse, Mousse, Mousse de Rouge and take it up to the higher points. Yeah, just make that blush pop a little bit more. And then kind of bring it into the, the brow bone area. I think that's a really cute look. Oh, my heater. Yeah, just kind of saturate it into this area. I'm not taking any additional concealer, just kind of patting underneath the eyes. See how that just kind of dulls it down? As you can see, like, if you just take the remaining concealer of whatever's on your sponge or brush, I'm just lightly tapping. It 
that way you're not really putting more on your face and getting like a little cakey, you know what I mean? Okay, another oldie but a goodie. I bought this a while ago, but I finally opened it because I was going through some other mascaras. I just keep holding this up. I'm so, ugh. It's a Glossier Lash Slick. This is what really introduced me to tubing formulas with mascaras. And I picked it up not that long ago. Glossier recently had a sale, but I didn't really, I didn't buy anything. Um, it's just like nice and lightweight. It creates a little bit of length separation. It's very natural. And sometimes that's all I really want. Like I just want like a little extra something something for my eyelashes, but I don't really want to commit to a whole lash look, if you get what I mean. Like something that's like volumizing. But yeah, I still love it. Like after all these years and trying so many different mascaras, I eventually always come back to this. Like I'll repurchase it randomly. I'll be like, yeah, I, I still love the lash slick. I mean, and I totally understand that it's not a formula for everybody, but for me, it really gets the job done. I do prefer the black to the brown though, but that's just who I am. Like I, I like a very black mascara. This look is so pretty. I sh really should wear like peachy, what would you describe this? Like a pinky rose? I really should wear this color more often, especially when I'm pale. I feel like it looks really good on me when I'm in my wintertime skin. Anyway, that's it. Okay, so that is it. That is my little springtime get ready with me, HBD, you know. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!